Welcome back to Hot Water Wrestling, everybody. And today I'm going to be reviewing Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Life story of the dragon. Well, I will say this is uh, one of the better wrestling documentaries I've seen. Simply because it's about a classic superstar. A breakthrough superstar. I don't think wrestling had really seen a guy like this. Uh, or has seen a guy like this since. Ricky the Dragon came on the scene, or Ricky Steamboat came on the scene. They're very interesting that we had a lot of Japanese wrestlers and whatnot, masked wrestlers, but you never had kind of a American, a Jap. Well, I don't know if he's Japanese or Chinese or Korean or what or Hawaiian. I really, I really don't know. But you never had an Asian American superstar like him. Um, who went over so well he was so mainstream um, him bringing the martial arts element into wrestling at the time he did when he came in was hugely important um, well not important but it, it was hugely popular um, at the time martial arts and ninjas and things like that were very very popular and that instantly made Ricky Steamboat a uh, household name um, the popularity of the G.I. Joe cartoon with characters like Snake Eyes, Quick Kick, Storm Shadow, things like that, um, definitely helped matters. Your Chuck Norris films, your American Ninja films, all that stuff. Um, we're going to drag a steamboat. The kids, we represented that. Um, he was a, a, a guy you could always root for. Um, I was always pulling for Ricky Steamboat. Always pulling from the win. He never slipped out of favor with the fans. He was always an underdog. And every time you saw Ricky Steamboat, he just gave his all. I mean, the guy left his heart in the ring every single match I saw him wrestle. One of the true, true, true greats. Actually, I would go to say that he's a little underrated in many respects. Still to this day, even though he has plenty of notoriety. Um, the documentary on here is stellar. Excellent. Um, like I said, um, a lot of classic tales about the business. You'll learn a lot of things you never knew about Ricky Steamboat and never knew about other superstars. Um, very detailed. Goes into why his Intercontinental title reign was so short. Um, There's a very good explanation for it, and you don't really feel so bad for him after you learn why. Um, and just really well-rounded, I'll say. Very well-rounded documentary. Extremely entertaining when it ended. Um, I could have... I could have kept watching for another half hour easily. The matches on here are also very well rounded, I'll say. Um, I was very happy with the match selection. Lots of them I had never seen before. Um, I'm not going to go through every single one of them. But uh, you're going to get lots of his pre WWE matches, which is really cool. Um, he had a successful tag team run uh, with uh, Jay Youngblood. I believe. Um, yeah, Jay Youngblood. Um, even a little bit before my time. Um, and you're going to see some of that on on here. Um, you're going to see some of his epic matches for Ric Flair. Um, if you guys don't know, Ricky Steamboat had some outstanding uh, title matches with Ric Flair. You're going to get the WrestleMania 3 match, of course, with uh, the Macho Man Randy Savage for the Intercontinental title, one of the greatest matches of all time. Um, Ricky the Dragon vs. Jake the Snake Roberts, excellent match. Um, yeah, you get two of, I think there were three Ric Flair vs. Dragon, you get two of them on here. Excellent, man, worth the price of admission alone. Ricky the Dragon uh, vs. Uh, Ravishing Rick Rude, I had never seen that match. And so, uh, really, really cool stuff. Oh, there's one match actually. Uh, Rickety Dragon Steamboat vs. Steve Austin in 1992. Never had seen that match. Um, really cool. Um, but I highly recommend this three disc set by Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. You will not be disappointed. And I hope to be back with another DVD review very soon. And I'll see you next time on Hot Water Wrestling.